Hello everybody, how's it going? My name is Sinkar and welcome back to Doki Doki Blue Skies. Now do you notice the music's different? We got different music. I was actually looking at the uh, Doki Doki Blue Skies original soundtrack yesterday and discovered there is themes for the different routes for the opening. So I assume, I hope, that means we're officially on the Natsuki route, which is brilliant. And if you love Natsuki like I do, then be sure to leave a like and subscribe, join the Discord server so we can have a chat about Natsuki and Natsuki. But yes, we're finally on the next chapter of Doki Doki. So let's get right into it. Sigh. <sighs> Another Monday. Ah, Monday. The day of the week which starts the week on the first day, that is Monday. Another week of school. Ah, school. Another school that sucks. Fucking school. I also didn't get much sleep last night. Fun. Oh well, it's not like I can skip class. Even if I did, if mom found out... Mom, what am I, American? Ha 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 ha. Even if I did, if mom found out, I wouldn't hear the end of it. But I like my free time, so I'll keep my mouth shut and do my work. Yes, free time is good, but isn't your mum, like, never home? So, doesn't matter. The familiar chatter of students fills the hallways as I change into my school shoes. I waited up for Sayuri today, so I arrived at school later than usual. Ah, typical me. Homeroom <laughs> starts soon, so I'd better get moving. <coughs> hey, wait up! Huh? I spin around, looking for the source of the voice. Whose voice is it? It is Natsuki. Oh, yay! I find Natsuki not that far from behind me. I see. Hi! Hello! Oh, hi, Natsuki. Ah! What a great way to start the day. Hey. Do you have that copy of Red Autumn yet? You mean Blue Spring? Oh, yeah, right here. Oh, yeah, right here, sorry. I open my bag and pull out the manga. Natsuki quickly snatches it out of my hands. Do you have Parfait Girls? It's in the literature club, duh. I don't have it on me. Oh, alright. <laughs> Dang, I was kinda hoping she had it on her. I was looking for something to do in homeroom. Do you think I have enough time to go and grab it? I doubt it. Homeroom starts in like three minutes. I check the clock on a nearby wall. Oh yeah, jeez. What homeroom are you in by the- what ho what homeroom are you in, by the way? By the way, 1C, you? 2B. 2B. So, if I've got my Japanese classrooms correct, that means she's the year below me? Is that right? But she's 18, how does that make any sense? Hmm, didn't know you were a first year. Yeah, so that is what it meant. But she's 18, that makes even less sense. Are you trying to tell me she's 15? Or 13? How does Japanese school work again? Fifteen, right? <laughs> oh boy! Whoops! Um, ah, uh, my amazing poem abilities made you think otherwise, didn't they? Yes, I can't help but smile a bit at how proud she is of her poetry. She's so cute. And she's, she's maybe, maybe she's sixteen. That's that's legal in Japan. Let's go with that. Is that legal? Isn't thirteen legal in Japan? Sixteen's legal in New Zealand. So let's go with that. Indeed, they did. <laughs> <laughs> Who's <laughs> your homeroom teacher? <laughs> I have Omi Sensei. She's my English teacher. Oh, I remember her. One of my classmates had her last year. My girlfriend also has her English teacher as her homeroom teacher. And that teacher can't do fucking English, I swear. They said she was really strict. Yeah, she is. She freaks out if literally anybody is late. But she's almost always late. Sounds like Kakashi Sensei to me. It's so stupid. Yeah, I've heard all the stories, and how does she know if people are late? My homeroom teacher is late sometimes too, but I mean, he cuts everyone some slack, so no one really minds. Yeah, he seems pretty cool. He's pretty chill. Lucky. Anyway, what can I expect from this one? What one? The second volume. Oh, right, of course. Natsuki taps her fingers on the novel. The aim to pass the American dream plan. Duh. Oh, right, that one. Right, uh, from what I can remember, it's relatively the same as Parfait Girls. That oh, doesn't sound right to me. First volume's an intro to the characters, second volume is where things start picking up. Hmm, alright. Suddenly, I hear the bell ring. I need to watch Blue Spring Ride again, because I don't remember how it goes. And now Natsuki's reading it, so I should probably know how it goes. My eyes dart over to the clock. 
I don't have any clocks in my room to dot my eyes over to. It's 8.40. Oh, good. Wait, I have my computer clock. Silly me. Oh, crap. We're gonna be late. Natsuki's eyes meet the clock and her facial expression mirrors mine. That is to say, panic. Why am I panicking? I would never care about being late to home. <laughs> I often didn't show up because I was late, okay? Don't follow my example. It's a bad example. I'm not like that anymore. I turn off just classes on time all the time, but I would not care. And especially if my homeroom teacher is chill. <laughs> what am I? American? Ah, jeez, how long did we talk? Uh, I'll see you at the literature club. Yeah. Oh, that was... I switched our voices. See you at the literature club. Yeah, bye. Haha. <laughs> Natsuki and I bolt in opposite directions. When I get to my class, I'm one of the last to arrive. Ain't that just typical. As per usual, Sakurai isn't here yet. Who? Not that I'm complaining, mind you. Who? Without him here... Oh, the teacher. Everyone is talking amongst themselves rather than finding their seats. I think I'll drop my stuff off and grab a quick drink. Hey, Sinkara. Huh? Hey, Shiori! I recognize you. Marinette. Hey, I just wanted to say I really liked your poem. Poem? Yeah, the festival. Oh, the festival, right. Wasn't the festival on a Monday though? That was like last week. You could have, you had a whole week to say. I'm so lost with time. What, you forgot already? I've been trying to. Yeah, I don't blame you. Those guys were idiots. Well, yes, I know. You could say that again. Yeah, it sucks you guys had to deal with that. That ought to mess up your whole getting new members thing. You don't say. Hey, you could join. Hey! But, speaking of which, you did say you were gonna come to one of our meetings, right? When's that happening, huh? Oh, that? Yeah, uh, that was just to make Monica feel better. I'm not actually going. Well, aren't you a bitch? It clashes with my band practice anyway. Well, aren't you less of a bitch, but still. Okay, fair enough. It's just unfortunate we couldn't control them, even though it's our club. Mm-hmm. They only stopped when that one girl yelled at all of them. Oh yeah, that girl. Oh, she's the best. I mean, what? Oh, Natsuki? Yeah, I wish it hadn't come to that. But, oh well, nothing we can do now. Yeah, I was at a, uh, a performance where my, my best friend was doing something, and there were people sitting right behind me and my friends that were talking quite a bit throughout it. It was very annoying. They weren't as loud and obnoxious as those people, but I remembered it. I was like, I was remembering I had the, the festival and I just, I very much wanted to pull a Natsuki and be like, Oi! Shut up! But I, I thought I probably shouldn't do that. That would be, that would be a tad on the orc side. But oh well, nothing we can do now. Yep. Alright, well, time for attendance since Sakurai isn't here. Again. She already snickers at my little joke. <laughs> I know, right? <laughs> anyway, she turns to the rest of the class. In your seats, everybody, let's take attendance. Everybody, the attendance, who says that? It's called the roll, get it right. Speaking proper New Zealand. <laughs> everybody breaks up from their groups and takes their seats. I do the same and idly watch her take as she takes the attendance attendance. It's called the roll, speak proper New Zealand. About two minutes pass before the door opens and in walks Sakurai. My apologies, class, I had a late night. <laughs> yeah, your face says it all, Sakurai. Late night. Late night, yeah, it's, I'm picking up what you're putting down with your late night. Besides, it should be illegal to wait, make people wake up before nine. <laughs> yes, yes, it should. A light laughter follows his quip. He's certainly not, certainly not wrong. Alright, it's time to take attendance. Let's see here. Attendance, it's called the roll, speak proper New Zealand. Oh, it seems like someone beat me to it. He looks up at Shiori, who smiles proudly in return. So only Emmy is absent? As if on cue, the door swings open and in walks Emmy. I don't care about these people. That's a cute face, isn't it? Eh. I mean, cute cat face is just my instinct to be like, oh, cute, but eh. I don't really think that's that cute. Sorry, sir, I... Ah, oh, don't worry about it, Emmy. Trust me, I'm not in a position to criticize people for being like... <laughs> that was a prime example of why Sakurai is so popular and respected among the students. Alright guys, let's get right to it. Pull out your notes. Why are we doing notes? In this homeroom? What the hell is homeroom? I'm so lost. A couple of groans come from the back of the class. 
Yeah, yeah, I know, but we've got a lot to cover today. Now, if you've been paying attention, which I hope you have been, you'll know that our current focus is on 20th century Europe. So are we saying it's 9 now and we're starting history? Alright. Specifically the events leading up to World War 1. Ah, yes, of course. Now, the question is, what kind of political climate leads to a war that ended up killing 17 million people? A bad one. A bad political climate. Well, guys, I'm glad you asked. Literally no one asked. I gave you an answer. You asked. Or at least I'll pretend like you did. <laughs> I like him. He's cool, he's cool. Looks like lesson time has begun. Awesome, we can skip it though, right? I, I didn't come here to go to school, I came here to be with Natsuki. Is that a sponge? Why do you have a sponge? You don't... You don't clean a blackboard with a sponge. Even in anime, they don't use a sponge! Why is there a sponge? The lesson continues on as normal, with nothing out of the ordinary happening. Sponge? 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 Sponge! Notes are taken, questions are answered. Normal, boring classroom sponge. Despite how typical the lesson is, Sakurai's energy holds my attention so well that the bell surprises me. Couple people say goodbye, but most of us ha just wave as Sakurai packed up, packs up his stuff and walks out the door. Ah, it's finally lunchtime. Ooh, lunchtime! Ooh, my favorite class. I love lunchtime. So did Sakurai teach us for three hours? That's not how school works. Go to a proper New Zealand school. <laughs> it's finally lunchtime. This is probably my favorite part of the day, excluding the literature club, of course. Oh, uh, of course, of course. Sayuri is in my lunch period. Maybe I'll sit with her today. I'm sorry, what lunch period? What? How does this system work? I am so confused. Somebody in the comments explain to me the entire Japanese schooling system so that I understand this shit. Because I'm lost! What the hell is a lunch period? We all have the same lunch period. We all take lunch at the same time, which is like, not even 12. One. One? 12, 12, 40? 12, 40. I don't remember, okay? It's been a while. No, it's gotta be one something, because last class goes from two to three. So at like one-ish, 12.40 to one-ish, is when lunch starts. For everyone, the whole school, okay? And before that is morning tea, or break one as we called in high school for some reason, because morning tea was too mainstream. There's no lunch period! If I can find her, that is. I think you're thinking of study period. You have study period. You can have study period together, but you don't have lunch period together. Everybody has lunch period together! Dot, dot, dot. Oh, there she is. And it's not a period, it's just lunch! Sayuri so is sitting by the wall on a bench, all alone. Oh, she's gazing off into the distance, staring at nothing. Hmm. Maybe I won't disturb her? She seems like she's not in a good mood today. Ah, shit. Ah. Uh, um. Tough call. I mean, I want to sit with her. I do. I certainly do. But will that put me on the right path, though? That's the question. Um. Yes, I will sit with Sayori. I will sit with Sayori. That's what I wanted to do. I didn't want to leave her. But as a friend, I wanted to sit with her. Maybe I should just stop checking and just go with my gut. Just play it how I should... What do you think? Yeah, yeah, I can always redo it if I get a bad ending, but I wanted to sue Sayori, that wasn't influenced by anything, but I did check. But I'll try and stop checking if you guys want me to. Hey Sayori. What? It seems I startled her. Guess she didn't see me coming. Oh, uh, hi Senkara. I didn't see you there. Huh, sorry about that. I was just wondering if you wanted to eat lunch together. We don't have to, you know, you know like we used to. Uh, sure. That sounds like fun. Alright, cool. Sayori slides over and I take a seat next to her, so like, do you have no other friends? <laughs> don't say that, please don't say that. <laughs> Both of us reach into our bags and pull out our lunches. So, how's the day been so far? Not bad. Kinda fell asleep in math class. I believe that. Yep. Sayori, exactly what time did you go to bed last night? But that's not important. I was just tired, I swear. I raise an eyebrow. Alright, here we go. Hold on, I can do better, I can do better. There we go, much better. I raise an eyebrow. Sayori. Besides, math class is boring. Yeah, that's what I assumed. I thought she just went to sleep because she was bored. Alright, fair enough. Hey, math is great! I love math. Math's the best class. She breathes a sigh of relief. Okay, not the best class, but it's great! Of the core classes, it's the best. Hey, way! You were saying you were really sleepy on our walk to school. 
on our, our walk to school today and complaining that you had a hard time falling asleep? Maybe? Sinkara, you can't tell me to go to bed early if you're not going to bed early either. That's hypocrisy. Ah, oh, fine, fine, you got me. But that doesn't change the fact that we need to go to bed earlier. Yeah, that's for damn sure. Don't follow my example. You need to do it too. Okay, okay, how about this? I'll go to bed earlier if you do too. Huh? Fair enough, okay, let's... We'll have to sleep together so that we're sure that we're... <laughs> Alright, cool. Dot, dot, dot. They shouldn't make us come to school so early anyway. Uh, I'd rather it be earlier, to be honest. Uh, not back in those days, but still. Yeah, but if we started late, we'd probably finish in late afternoon or the evening. Oh, yeah. Besides, I have Sakurai in the morning, and he makes history enjoyable. Don't you like history? Eh! 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 Depends on the subject matter. Eh! <laughs> I've never had a good subject in history. Not really called history, it was called, uh, social studies? Yeah, yeah, but I've never, I never enjoyed history. Never learned anything interesting. It'd often be about New Zealand history, which I find dull and boring. I don't, I don't care for it. I still don't know when Waitangi Day is. If you don't know what Waitangi Day is, it's like a, a public holiday in New Zealand when the Treaty of Waitangi was signed, and we learn about it every year at the same time. But I still have no clue what day it is because they just make it so boring. I grew up learning every year about Waitangi Day and the treaty, and I don't remember jack or. And they always come every year and it's like, okay, which day is Waitangi Day? And the whole class was just like, uh, uh, um, I don't know. That was how it was every time. We knew nothing. We remembered nothing from that time because it was always, it was just so boring. And we learnt it every single year. It was just like, uh, shut up. Not that it's not an important day, of course. I don't need to hear about it all the time in a boring matter. Make it interesting, jeez. Some time periods were more interesting than others. Yeah, I guess so. What's your favorite time period? What a fucking question. I don't know. Who knows that? I hear that question quite a lot. I do. In shows and stuff. And I, I wouldn't even begin to know how to answer that. Teach me Egyptian history. I like Egypt. Egypt's great. I would learn about that. That sounds awesome. Or Mayans and shit. You know, the good stuff. Not the most boring crap. And I know it's important. You need to learn history so we don't repeat it. But still, hmm, tough question. No, easy question. Egypt, 5,000 years ago. Let's go with that. I really don't know. You? Or maybe medieval. Oh, ancient Greece. I love the Greek gods. Typical white girl. Of course you fucking do. You read Percy Jackson. We get it. Wait, no. Roman Empire. Yeah, their culture is so interesting. Less typical white girl. But that's... Yeah, I like... I like Romans. Romans are cool. But Egyptians are the way to go. Didn't the Romans just steal their culture from the Greeks? Yes. Yes, they did. Or was it the other way around? No, it was that way, yeah. I take it back. Ancient Greece is the best. <laughs> Typical white girl. <laughs> I can't help but smile. Sayuri is as bubbly as ever. Yeah, she's cute. I like that face. Look at her. No. Oop. <laughs> Five nights of pretty flashbacks. Well, there's the bell. Oops, wrong button. See you at the literature club, Sayuri. Bye, Sankara. Bye. Oh, ain't that sweet. Oop. Are we done already? Oh, there you go, that was a pleasant day. Not much Natsuki, but that's okay. We got we got some good Sayori. We did get a we did get a good Natsuki interaction at the start though, which is always a pleasure. Interesting. Um I'm, I'm digging this music, that's for sure. But we're gonna end it here for today. So thank you all so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this episode of Doki Doki Blue Skies. If you made it this far, I can only assume that you did. So be sure to leave a like and subscribe, comment down below letting me know your thoughts on the video. And thank you all so much for watching, my name has been Sinkara, and until next time... See ya. I felt like a very rushed outro. Ah well, you'll get over it I'm sure.